Let's take a look at solving complex exponential equations. First, let's remind ourselves of the simpler technique of equating exponents. So if you have like bases, you can pull the exponents off and set them equal to each other. 2 and 4 have something in common. 4 is 2 squared, so let's rewrite the right-hand side. 2 to the x equals 4 is 2 squared, x minus 1. And it's a superpower, so we multiply in 2x minus 2. Because the bases are now the same, we can pull off those exponents. And let's subtract x, add 2. And that gives us 2 is equal to x. You can check that by putting it back up into the original equation, and you will see that that indeed does work. Now what happens if you can't equate exponents, and that's the issue here. We have two bases of which neither can be written in terms of the other. So 3 can't be written as 2 raised to a power, 2 can't be written as 3 raised to a power. So instead, because 3 squared is really a number, we have an exponential equal to a number. Let's convert. So that means we have log base 2, 3 squared is 9, is equal to x. Check to make sure you're converted right, 2 to the x equals 9, which is 3 squared, so that works. This is actually the exact answer. Now, you can also put it in your calculator. <laughs> you can put it in your calculator and get an approximation. X is approximately equal to 3.1699, so it depends on whether you're being asked for a exact answer or a approximation. Now, if you're wondering how I got from that logarithm down to that approximate, you can use the change of base where you take the log of what's inside over the log of the base. And then that gives you this approximate answer. Now, on this one, it's ugly. We, we still cannot equate those bases, but let's rewrite that left side before we do anything else with it. And so we're going to write 4 as 2 to the negative 2 because 4 is 2 squared. 1 over 2 squared is really 2 to the negative 2. x plus 1 stays the same. Uh, power rule says that you can multiply in. So let's go ahead and do that. You get 2 to the negative 2x minus 2 is equal 5 to the x. And now we still have two bases for which we cannot make them the same. So we are going to take the logarithm of both sides. So the difference, let me write this and then I'll explain. I don't want to write it wrong. So the difference between this one and the last one is that this guy has variables on both sides for the exponents. So on the last one, if you remember, it was an exponential with a variable in the exponent, but the right side was a number. This is a number raised to an exponent, so now we're really stuck. We can't convert. So instead, you take the logs of both sides. Now, we have a power rule for logarithms that says when you have an exponent on what's inside the logarithm, you can bring that exponent down. So we're going to do that for both sides. On the left, use parentheses so that you don't lose a piece. On the right, you just have an x. And then on the left, let's go ahead and distribute. We get negative 2x log of 2 minus 2 log of 2. On the right, you get x log of 5. So when we're solving for a variable, what we like to all the variable terms on one side. So let's take this term, which has a variable in it, add it to both sides so that they are all on the right-hand side. So on the left, you keep the negative 2 log of 2, and on the right, you get the x log of 5 plus the 2x log of 2 from the other side. Now, on the right, and I know that's really ugly, we've, we've got an, a variable in both of these terms. Let's go ahead and factor that out. The log on the left, with its coefficient, remains the same. On the right, Factor an x out. What times x gives you the first term? Log of 5. What times x gives you the second term? 2. Log of 2. 
Okay, so that looks, it, we're getting closer. This is x just times what's in parentheses here. So let's divide both sides by that. I'm not going to rewrite it. I'm just going to put it there in parentheses. And so what does that give us? I'm going to need a new sheet here. That's going to give us x on the right. I'm going to flip it over so it's easier to see. In the numerator on the left side, you keep that log of 2 with a 2 in front. And the denominator becomes that entire piece that you factored out on the right. Log of 5 plus 2 log of 2. Now, sure, you could combine these two if you wanted to. You cannot combine numerator to denominator. Uh, at this point, I would just leave it as it is. This is the exact answer. If you need to use your calculator to approximate the answer, you can, but be very careful. Especially use parentheses for that denominator. So let's take a little brain break. Here we've got two who have like bases, so what do you do? You equate the exponents. You get 2x minus 1 equals 3x. So let's go ahead and subtract 2x from both sides. Negative 1 equals x. Put them back into the original, and you see that, yes, that is true. So don't forget to always look for the simple piece first. If you can equate bases, go for it. If you can't equate those bases of exponentials, you're going to have to take logs of both sides. So let's go ahead and do this last piece. There should not be an x here. Sorry, that's a typo. And so on the left, let's combine those two functions. Because the bases are the same, we can add their exponents. And now what we have is similar to what we had at the very beginning, an exponential, <clears throat> excuse me, on one side, and a number on the other. So let's go ahead and convert. That gives us the natural log of 3 is equal to 2x minus 1. Remember, natural log is really base e, so let's check e to the 2x minus 1 equals 3. Yes, you do not need that. Oh, got rid of the whole thing. <laughs> natural log of 3 is equal to 2x minus 1. Obviously going to redo this video, too. And so then what do we do? We add 1 to both sides. Divide both sides by 2. And you get this. This is the exact answer. You can approximate it with your calculator or give it as an exact answer if that's what you're looking for. Hope you're having a great day.